Uh, Rohan, I know you've been waiting patiently. Let's uh, look at one or two uh, more remarks of the court and then get your reaction and I'll come back to Ranbir after that. The history of any nation cannot haunt the present and future generations to the point that succeeding generations become prisoners of the past. The golden principle of fraternity against is, again enshrined in our preamble, is of greatest importance. I mean, this is common sense. I mean, it's a Supreme Court judgment, but this is common sense because we have only one rule book in our country. That is the Constitution. That's what the Constitution says. Does it need to be reminded? Is not said? I agree with you. This is common sense, which is most uncommon during this regime. See, Supreme Court has, uh, you know, sent very, very strong message. They have said that Hinduism is a way of life. There is no place of bigotry and you cannot keep country on a boil. There are a lot of current issues where the country is facing challenges where we have to work together to ensure that the people of country don't suffer and we prosper. And during this, you start digging the history, trying to find out who has made a mistake and we will correct this mistake. Up to what level you will go? Because the more you dig, the more hatred is going to come out. We need to stop somewhere. If you want to divert issues from current issues, yes, this is a good issue. But this is what, I am not going into politics of it, but we see this government changing name of cities every day because they want to divert attention from the core issues. And Supreme Court has given strong message to everybody who wants to avoid present in order to ensure that their mistakes are hidden and they go into history to find out solutions. 